Hey guys, Kenny Wisdom here, and today we're going to be starting a brand new series on On The Bubble called Trainer Tip Tuesday. Now, my vision with this is to give you guys a, a, a short video every Tuesday that basically just describes a tip. Uh, I'm going to start out with one, and then from then on I'm going to take your suggestions. But basically it'll be something about in-game play, so I'll suggest, you know, how how to make certain plays, you know, technical plays on the board. Sometimes it'll be community contributions or something to do with outside of the game. But either way, the aim will be to help you improve at Pokemon over time. So like I said, we are going to vote on the tips from now on. So leave a comment with a tip you would like to see. And next week or um, at some point I will get to it. I... We'll try my best to do them week by week based on what you guys suggest, but I also do have some that I personally want to do outside of that. So if I promise that I will shout you out and I will do the do your suggestion if it was the highest uh, liked um, within the first couple weeks. So with that being said, today we're going to talk about going on tilt. Now, I've written about this before. Lots of people have. Lots of people have talked about it. I don't particularly want to make a super long video. The point of these videos is to be kind of shorter and more condensed, but tilt is something that happens to everyone, I think. Um, all competitive players tie their emotions to the game in one way or another, and sometimes that can be really good. People, you know, love to win, and they get really happy when they win, and sometimes that can be pretty bad, and people can be upset when they lose, and even it can be bad when you win and you're kind of a, you, know, you, you brag a lot or something, which is a different subject, but it's similar. But basically, why Tilt happens, and for those of you who don't know, Tilt is basically just getting angry out at the game or about the game. Originally, what the term was supposed to mean was, you're on Tilt, that means you're mad about something that happened during the game and you're playing worse. But now I feel like the term encompasses just being upset about the game in general, especially in regard to um, in-game actions. And this happens, you know, um, it happens to everyone, it's hard to... It's hard to not be upset when something bad happens. You know, when you have you have game on board, you end your opponent to one, and they draw their last Juniper. That draws them a Muscle Band, DCE, Furbank, and Laser, or something silly like that. You know th that those things are tough. They are going to mentally affect you. It's not it's not a pleasant experience. No one likes to lose. But I think it's important that you are able to internalize that feeling and both let it go and make sure that you're not taking it out on yourself or your opponent. So one of the things that I used to do is I used to take it out on myself pretty hard. I, I've definitely gotten very upset about tur about uh, tournaments. I've gotten very upset about the game. I've gotten very emotional about the game, but that's not good. You should never tie your self-worth to the game, which I think is something that a lot of players do. And you should never get too overly emotional about uh, the game in general. But especially if you are someone that suffers from tilt, what I would really like to see is pulling back on it, uh, expressing it to other people. It's not your opponent's fault they drew that juniper. It doesn't make them worse than you. It is just how the game went. And to a certain extent, you're going to have to accept that those things happen. But like I said, if you do struggle with it, as I once did, it's very, very important not to make your opponent feel uncomfortable for something that they really had no control over. And then, secondly, as far as dealing with it yourself, like I said, you really need to try and not connect it to your self-worth in any way you know just if, if you know if you can be uh being a good person or being a successful person is independent of your pokemon tournament per performance which i think is something that not a lot of people would admit to but i think it's the way a lot of people feel is that they judge themselves or are happy with themselves based on how good they do at tournaments which obviously like i said you know tournaments do matter people like playing them people like winning people feel good when they win they feel smart when they win but you definitely need to make sure that the opposite isn't happening and that you're not judging yourself by how well you do in tournaments. And I think that a lot of it is just clearing your head. You know, something that I do um, if I have a really frustrating match is I go and I put on my headphones, you know, go to, go to the bathroom, wash my face maybe, you know, uh, take some few sips of water and just kind of let it go out of you. The thing you have to realize is that you are fortunate enough to win X amount of games from getting lucky, and you're unfortunate enough to losing X amount of games getting lucky. And the difference between those two numbers is going to be um, your skill. So basically, your skill is always fighting against variance, and you know the best players in the world maintain a win rate of probably 
60%. And where they gain a lot of those percentages is just be is just knowing the right place. So I've seen people play out of terrible positions because um, after they've gotten super unlucky because they just know how to do it. And I've seen people get ahead in the game and then make make silly plays that maybe maybe the plays aren't wrong, but they capitalize to the point where they are now susceptible to getting unlucky. And I think that you really have to accept what's happening to you and then just kind of try and let it go. I know that sounds silly. I know that it sounds silly. Just kind of let it go. Who cares? But it's very, it's very important to internalize it, understand how you're feeling, and then kind of just let it be and realize that this is going to happen to you. If you play Pokemon for any amount of time, you're going to get very lucky. You're going to get very unlucky. Your opponent's going to clutch top deck. You're going to draw dead. And it's important to stay in the mindset that I know what I am. I know what I'm doing. I have control over this, and sometimes it's not going to go in my way. Additionally, one big portion I want to mention is do not tell bad beat stories. Regardless of whether you're on tilt or not, please, no one likes to hear them. No one likes to hear, oh, hey, after round two, oh, hey, how you doing, man? Oh, God, it, it's just so lame. My opponent just drew. But no one cares. No one cares. It's If you want to tell the story of how your match went and you want to be honest about what happened and rethink your plays, that's one thing. But just berating your friends with this story of how you got so unlucky and your opponent was so lucky and they're so bad and your deck's so good. It's just something that no one wants to hear. So that about wraps it up for that. Um, like I said, please suggest something in the comments. These can be anything. They can be technical play. They can be behavior outside of a tournament. Anything you want to learn about. Do you want to learn about a specific deck? Do you want to learn about how to use a specific card? Do you want to learn how to prepare for a tournament? Anything that can be uh, condensed into a quick video, I'd love to hear from you guys. So please leave that in the comments. And the, the um, comment with the most likes will be the one that I cover next week. Thank you guys for watching.